October 2018. We're already into the 10th month and we've just got two months more to go. So October is a time where we need to discern again that what we need to do in the coming year or what is required to do in the coming year, what are the corrections needed to be made, especially when we know that the Saturn has turned direct. And now when the Saturn has turned direct, it gives us all the more liberty to manifest and realize that corrections, if made now, can be much easily done. Things, your situations will be much easily sorted out and you will be able to start your new year with great gusto and happiness. Libra, October 2018 for you. Well, another happy month. Basically, it's a party month. A month for personal fulfillment and for having things your way. A month to pamper yourself and enjoy the pressure, pleasures of your intimate relationships. Until the 9th, it is still good time for buying and, you know, sprucing your personality up or going for shopping. Health is, remains wonderful. Your personal magnetism, charisma and sex appeal are still very strong. Personal freedom and independence um, actually keeps you going. You have all the tools. Your destiny is now in your hands. Build your own paradise on earth. The planetary power below is below the horizon uh, of your chart and it increases even further this month. By the 7th, 80 to 90% of the planets will be there, which is a huge percentage. Let your career issues aside, um, aside or slide for a while and focus on building a solid and a stable home base. Mend defenses with your family members. Cultivate the right inner emotional um, stableness in your life. Replenish your emotional resources. Feeling right will eventually lead to acting and achieving right. Though you are not specially ambitious these days, finances yet remain a priority, especially after the ninth. Your focus and interests of themselves lead to increase and success. This is a time to make financial plans for the future, to set investment strategies, to do accounting and tax planning, create budgets and the like. Money comes from personal effort from your partner or spouse, friends and organizations you belong to and from your intuition which actually can become extremely sharp. After the 23rd, you have good aspects for reducing debts and your waste. Love is getting better and better. Existing relationships get more harmonious, especially after the ninth. Now, a grand trine in water makes love sweet, emotional and tender for you. This grand trine, a very fortunate aspect, is also bringing prosperity and financial opportunity. The workplace is still the scene of romance, but romance could find you as you pursue health and financial goals as well. It's the kind of month where you can meet the Mr. or Mrs. Wright while waiting in a queue at the bank or at the broker's office or even at the pharmacy. Family relations could be better before the ninth, but there is much improvement after that. Relations with a parent or parent figure should also improve by then. They seem to approve of the way you're taking charge of your financial life, reducing waste and debt. They seem supportive of you in whatever decisions you take now. Some family issues need much more time to resolve and you should just let them go, let them pass. Saturn, your family planet, while goes a little retrograde, you need to be taking more care of your discipline and be determined and dedicated to whatever you want to set the corrections. I'll also be cautious about expenditures or investments in the home front. Best to research them now and act on them later. Over the period of years that I have seen, I have realized the importance of getting your natal chart mates. Now that the public is becoming aware that life is all about your choices and life is what you make it, especially if you have the important tools in your hand. And these tools can actually be taken from your natal chart which tells you what is your calling on this earth, what is your destiny. What are the talents by which you can shape this destiny? 
and what are your lucky dates when your energy levels are very high or what are the planets that actually give you a clue and the key to the success that you can achieve. It's very important to get your natal charts made. Having those natal charts in your hand will also help you to understand these predictions that I speak about every month. This will help you understand and you will be able to utilize and inculcate it in your way of life individually. So get your natal charts made also. And for your money days, your honey days, your career days, or the days where can be which can be more successful you'll have to visit my website